And I want to um, extend or ask a follow-up question uh, around um, post -pur post purchase, uh, which is exactly the example that you brought up with the restaurants and staying and uh, getting yeah. the additional discounts and status. Um, and a question is really to Sam uh, to talk about once the once the specific property is reserved and this time before travel and during the trip, how is your team supporting your customers? And if there's any additional uh, services or any additional expenses that are incurred, how is this handled on the payment side? Yeah, yeah. So once once a trip is booked, that's really where the fun begins, right? Um, so, um, you know, we we have a uh, you know a very uh, uh, talented uh, customer service team that's that's making sure that. And James, you kind of spoke to it as well as Ron, you did too around you know ca capturing and gathering all of this you know you know preferential data about customers so that we know you know who you know for our customers who who you are obviously but. We're, where are the types of places you like to go? And once you are traveling, what are the things you like to do, right? So you're somebody that's, you know, like to be very active and, you know, doing whether various tours or activities, or you're somebody like, yeah, the, the, as little as possible, right? Just put me by a beach or pool and I'm good, right? And something somewhere in between. And so we, we get all that information so that once you've booked that trip, we can really start to put together a very custom and, and, and personalized itinerary for, for you, specifically for each of our customers. And we have a, a dedicated trip planning team that does that and to, you know, kind of the combination of, of the, the personalized reach out as well as the technology tools that, that we can that we have at our disposal. We can really make that that planning experience really exciting and just something that, you know, as a traveler, you know, leading up to the time where you're actually on that trip, you, you, you know, you're, you're really getting a, a great sense of you, you're talking to an, an expert, you're talking to somebody who knows that destination, who knows that property and who knows, like, can, can give you all of the recommendations, sort of that insider feel. Right. Um, and then once you're in the, the property, I mean, we, we can, we provide all, 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 all sorts of, of things that really we feel put us, you know, above and beyond and, and differentiate. So I'll, all of the the planning services and you know things like you know kind of groceries having a, a place stocked with you know food and drinks that you want you know when you get there all of all of those services are, are part of the offering we provide so they're not like ancillary they get tacked on and then as as you're either building that itinerary before you book or even in in destination we have folks in the destination we have our dedicated concierges that are you know, a, a text away or come check on you that can make sure you have what you need as a traveler. And if you don't, we can make sure that we can get that for you. And sort of as you're as you're going through that process, you know, we want to make it simple and easy. And so whether it's, you know, booking a tour or an activity that you're interested in, whether it's getting a, a, a highly coveted restaurant recommendation, whether it's maybe finding maybe an, an outlet for some, some child care for an hour or two so you can go, you know, um, you know, maybe go on a uh, an adventure or something like that. We can, we can do all that for you. And, and ultimately anything that we may secure on your behalf, you know, ultimately gets added to your folio, which then we can, we can transact and process during the checkout, um, uh, you know, at the end of the trip. But again, we try and make that as, as simple as possible so that, you know, you, the traveler don't have to worry or think about anything while you're there. And then when it's time to, to, to you know, kind of wrap up your trip, you're going home then that folio can be very simple. We have credit cards on file. We can charge it to that. We can split it across a couple of credit cards if you want. You can split it with some friends, things like that. Thank you, Sam. James, are there, are there similar examples where uh, multiple suppliers or multiple uh, parties get aggregated into a single folio from Stripe portfolio? Yeah, absolutely. And as a broader theme, I would say that if you aren't upselling during your traveler journey, you're being really neglectful. I think you're being neglectful to your team, you're being neglectful to your shareholders, and you're actually being really neglectful to your guests. I think if you don't bring them the best options they've got at each stage of their journey, you're missing a huge opportunity to enhance their stay, to make it more personal, to help them be more effective on their trip. Even before we start talking about, um, you know, 
the money that you might make and, and the partnerships you might develop. I, I am still, I've always been really impressed by the innovators in upselling. So people like um, Oki out of Europe, Nor One now owned by Oracle, some of the property management systems like Muse and CloudBeds, they're really starting to get it. But I'm still surprised at how few travel providers, hotels, vacation rental, that sounds like Inspirato have got the secret source. How few organizations have even taken the first, the first few steps? And, and I would start with permission. Guests want to be given valuable options. And if you get it wrong, and if you show them something they're not interested in, that's fine as well. We're all customers. We know how to ignore stuff that's not relevant to them. But you need to be showing them the, the best places to park or how to get a transfer, like how to upgrade their stay, maybe with a, a better room or, or food, drink, spa, leisure, retail. Maybe they want to take a memento, a souvenir home. You have things ready for them in the room, like um, basic groceries or, or a bottle of wine. And then some really innovative stuff around moving their luggage around before they get there and, and, and this kind of stuff. Um, so one of the one of the and there's lots of ways to do it, by the way, you can do it with a partner. You can um, build it yourself with a simple kind of retail site like like Shopify or you can use kind of dedicated tools. Um, we're just in the process of helping Marriott through exactly this experience. So, so again, Marriott have always thought about rooms, revenues, driving that those direct bookings to their rooms. Obviously, COVID spun up. Yeah, you know, hundreds of hotels doing completely different things around ordering by app or phoning ahead and trying to get contactless as quick as they can. So, you know, they're now putting putting their kind of Marriott sized effort around actually, you know, all of our restaurants should have a really great consistent guest experience that includes ordering ahead, ordering in room, ordering at the bar, ordering at the pool. Um, and wouldn't it be great if you could connect that whole ecosystem using Stripe behind the scenes so that exactly right, you can add it to your folio, you can learn about that guest over time, you can realize what their trends might be over different sites. And what's really exciting about it as a hotel franchisor, they can turn around to their owners and say, we're really helping you with this now. You're, you're making more money on this than ever before. So we're actually gonna start charging a franchise fee over the food revenues that we influence as well. So again, great for guests, great for shareholders, great for hotel owners and their teams. It just seems like such a natural step that we wouldn't, uh, why wouldn't we be automating meetings and food and retail and, and, and all of these kind of opportunities? So I, I'm really excited about capturing these revenues for the industry. And again, I think it's about piloting and trying things. And one of the things we're trying to do at Stripe is help each company figure out where its best opportunity is and then, and then just get going really quickly so we can have as fast an impact as possible. Mm -hmm.